Right, the last thing to do for my roof is to finish it off with a ridge cap. So the roof that I'm using is standard in Africa, it's a chroma deck, aloe green. But obviously your roof sheet's coming up to the ridge and there's nothing which is going to protect that ridge. So a good way that i found to do this is to come into a section view of the roof. So I'm just going to select the roof there and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it to the same place. And I'm going to edit the type and I'm going to duplicate. So my chromadec roof on Perlins is going to be chromadec roof ridge. Okay, I'm going to get in there and edit the structure. I want to keep my 38 millimeter corrugated sheet, but I want to delete the purlins from underneath. Delete. So now my roof structure is only 38 millimeters thick, and I'm going to click OK. So now my roof is inside the other roof. I'm just going to move that up. And then I'm going to select the bottom underside there, and I'm going to attach it to the top of my roof sheet. Let's go back into the 3D view. So now if I click on that top one, you'll see by the tag that comes up, it's roof, basic roof, chroma deck, roof ridge. I'm just going to select that. I'm going to go back in and edit because the roof ridge wouldn't be corrugated like that. So I'm just going to click edit. I'm going to change the material. Now these are all materials that I've set up previously. So I'm going to scroll down to where I've got my metal roof sheet. And this is a flat, so it's exactly the same color, but it's a flat material. OK. OK and OK. So now you'll see my roof has changed to a flat material. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select that, that ridge cap roof and I'm going to create an opening in the architecture tab by vertical. OK. Uh, I'm going to select that roof again. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick the edges of the roof. Just going to pick to the outside of the fascia just so that we don't have any any overlaps. And I'm just going to delete that one and select the outside of that fascia. Pick the wrong side the first time. Okay. So I'm just going to trim each edge. Now our lines go all the way around. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick that inside line there. Let me just change the angle so it's not blinding. Okay, I'm going to pick that line there and that line there. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an overlap, an offset for the ridge. So I'm going to make that 300. And then I'm just going to offset that ridge there and this ridge here. So now what I need to do, I need to cut the areas that are not going to be cut by the opening. So I'm going to hit trim, split element, and I'm going to make sure delete inner segment is selected. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete. Won't let me select those lines because they're not connected. Just going to trim into those and then I'm going to be able to select there and there and there and there. So now you'll see this there's a rectangle here which is going to be my one first cut and then this one here is going to be my, my other cut so I'm just going to extend these lines to the edge and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to delete that first segment. I'm going to click OK. And then when I'm going to come in and I'm going to trim these lines here. 
So now you see I've got three closed loops. Sorry, I've got two closed loops. And yeah, if I go ahead and click OK there now, you'll see that that finishes my roof ridge quite nicely. And now my roof gutter and downpipe, they're all working quite well. And they look quite realistic. I'm not going to put a, a ridge here in the valley for obvious reasons. Anything that's in there would be a flashing and that would be under the roof sheet. So you wouldn't see any flashing in there. And that's the end of that tutorial.